Hi there everyone, Mark Coleman here from V2SN with a Gridiron Report video preview capsule. We are looking at the Mountain View Wildcats this time around. Joining me, a good friend from the FLS varsity team, it is Taft Coghill. Taft, good to see you. Good to see you too, Mark. And we also have the head coach from Mountain View, Coach Lou Sorrentino. Coach, thanks for joining us. Thank you, my pleasure. Uh, always a good time to be able to be talking high school football. Tell me, what are you excited about for this season's Wildcats? Well, you're always excited about a new season start, and that's for sure. Uh, our guys have worked hard in the off season. We've got a great bunch of kids to coach. It's a new opportunity. We played a lot of young guys last year, so they're year older and stronger. So we're excited about the season getting started. You're returning some uh, a, a large number of kids, too. Well, we started more sophomores than I ever have in uh, over 20 years of being a head coach. So uh, uh, hopefully that pays off this year and that experience. They're a year older, they're a year wiser, they're great kids to coach. And uh, But we don't want to wait till next year and say next year's our year. We'd like to have success this year. So uh, I'm, I, I'm most excited about our kids' attitude, our approach to it. Uh, I think we're working to get better. And I'm looking forward to the season. Excellent. Now, the past two years, your, your starting quarterback, Elijah Burris, had a couple of unfortunate injuries, but it did allow Ahmad Tweedy to get some experience. Could you tell us a little bit about how that experience helped shape him and how that's going to help him uh, be more, more advanced than a normal first-year starter? Well, Ahmad's already a good quarterback. He's very skilled. He's a dual threat. He can run and throw. He's smart. The biggest problem with Ahmad, at least when he was a freshman, was that he was small. And he started three games as a freshman well before he was ready physically to do it. Uh, waited in the wings last year with Elijah and uh, I'm really excited about him being our quarterback. He's smart, he can run, he can throw and I think he's going to be excellent and you know he's going to some camps and things like that where people are going to overlook him because of his size and I said you know Russell Wilson should be your man. <laughs> I said that guy there had been overlooked. I actually coached Russell in a, at a camp when he was in high school okay. and, it, and even at his kind of size then he jumped out at you and I kind of said hey who are you? Where are you from? And, I, and followed him and, and then Ahmad smiled and said well he's my favorite player coach so <laughs> that's a good guy to, to emulate. You can win with a, the, you know, a guy that um, can move the football team. There's so many characteristics you need in a quarterback, and Ahmad's got them all other than being 6'3". So I think we can be very successful with him. I'm really excited about coaching him. I think he's going to do great. Great. And he has a, a nice target there. Trey Coghill got, had about 500 or so receiving yards last year. Well, we had uh, four receivers last year with over 20 catches and three of the four return. Trey was our leading receiver, was an all-conference player. Brandon White was our slot receiver. He had uh, close to 30 catches and is really quick uh, and he's a year bigger a year stronger if you will and then Jama Jamil Collison Coffey who's our top running back uh, also had over uh, 20 catches and is a real dual threat so yeah he's got some guys to throw to and again they played as sophomores so I'm excited about their development. Could you tell us a little bit more about Jamil and just that versatile type of threat? Yeah he's running? fantastic I wouldn't trade him for any running back I mean there's a lot of good ones in the area but he's 165 pounds he can run between the tackles, he can catch the ball, he works hard, and most of our kids do, but he's a, he's a real threat, and again, he's a pleasure to coach, and I think his best years are continue going to be ahead of him, and he's already pretty good. Gotcha. And you, you mentioned earlier you have four returning starters on defense, is that right? That's right. Well, wow. uh, does that give you any concern, or how, how do you approach well, that? Well, you know, not as many as you like. Uh, sometimes uh, we had a strong senior linebacking core, so we had two uh, linebackers that are seniors this year that I think are very good players. Uh, Matt Ward and Connor Wilcox can both play, uh, but they were behind good guys. And, and again, they're a year older. Jason Furman did start for us last year and played excellent. So when I look at our linebacking core, I see three seniors, three out of the four seniors, and they got to be veteran. And, and they've done well in camp. And they're, they've been leaders in the offseason, and, and we're excited about having those guys. Gotcha. And on the defensive line, you do return a second team all-conference guy. Uh, Bob Grimkowski and an impressive looking uh, sophomore too. In the yeah, Bob Bob is a, is a, a tough a tough guy. You know, he plays tight end. He's a little undersized, 205 pounds. It's hard to block, hard worker. Nee Abraham is just a sophomore, 270 pounds, a very talented athlete, and we think he's got a chance to be really good. And then Eric Doss and uh, Dylan Greenwell um, are two guys that are play on, start on our offense line or share some time on defense, but both got good motors. And so I think we have some talent up there. Um, one of my concerns is that we got too many guys that we're looking on both sides of the ball, but, but uh, they got a chance to be a very good defensive line. And so far in camp, I think they've done a good job. Great. 
So good talent, uh, experienced talent at the skill positions and some promising talent at, uh, to, to fill in otherwise. How about the schedule, Coach? You've had a pretty, uh, a pretty intimidating schedule the last couple of seasons. I'm not going to say it's easy this year, but um, less it's daunting possibly, yeah, yeah. right? Uh, frankly, the last two years, uh, our schedule has been the toughest I ever had as a head coach. And when you're playing non-league teams like Verina, James Monroe, Liberty, uh, there's no easy wins out there. There, there hasn't been. So uh, I'm not saying the schedule's easier, but we're going to play some of the Prince William teams. And uh, if you're saying, hey, would you rather play this team versus Verina, you know, we'll take them. So we're going to have to earn our victories. But uh, um, we had to fight and claw for everything we got last year. And we'll have to do the same this year. But um, we're not looking at maybe five or six teams that are state title contenders, and uh, uh, that helps a little bit. Because even in our, in our own conference, you're going to go against Massaponics, North Stafford, Potomac, Brook Point. Staff, you're going you're to play talented people. Sure. So when you start looking at the non-conference schedule, I always see these, even the big schools, the SEC teams, the college teams, that they usually have a few cupcakes along the way. And uh, we haven't seen that in a while, so we don't know what that's like. No, no, no cupcakes uh, on, on <laughs> yeah. the schedule, I don't yeah. think. There's, there's no place to Maybe hide. Lean and mean. That's right. Yeah. Well, that's uh, that seems to have been the uh, the the mo for Mountain View for the last several seasons. You've been a scrappy team that has has had to fight for everything. Has been successful uh, in in doing that. So I know you. that I you're very so. pleased uh, about. No, the I've, I've been out. pleased. We fight. We want to be in the playoffs. We expect to win, but we know that we just line on up. We're just not going to blow anybody away. We have talent. Some of our talent's a little smaller than some of the guys. We had a, a pretty rough first scrimmage. Cortland took it to us pretty good, but they're a very talented team. And after seeing some teams scrimmage, we got a chance to you know to be a good football team. Kind of get have to get better. Have to be a smart and disciplined team. But our guys know that, and they got that capability. And uh, and I think they're going to be capable of turning in a great year. So that's our goal. But uh, you know. It's going to be going to be difficult. Well, it sounds promising. I certainly appreciate the information and looking forward to uh, to seeing how well it uh, plays out over the course of this season. I have a feeling it's going to turn out well for you. Well, hopefully, it will. Thank you. That's a quick look at Mountain View High School for Varsity 360's Gridiron Report.